big news for the Yankees and a game changer in terms of Garrett Cole. Yeah, this is a mammoth move. This is an epic day in Yankee history. They had targeted Cole. They made him their number one priority, and then they went out and hunted down a way to get him to sign with them. Nine years, $324 million. He is the highest paid pitcher in Major League history. And to me, this felt like a move George Steinbrenner would have made and that George Steinbrenner would have loved. He was a big believer in going and getting stars, getting those marquee players, bringing them to New York, the biggest stage, and allowing them to perform. It was Hal Steinbrenner and the rest of the Yankee organization that made this move and that has made Yankee fans pretty excited. That's a huge commitment and a lot of money, and there's always pressure on the Yankees team to succeed and win a championship, but I think there's more now than ever in acquiring Garrett Cole. And when you look at things and you look at their rotation now, you have Cole, Severino, Tanaka, Paxton, and if you're not excited about that, there's probably something wrong with you. That is one heck of a rotation, and if you ask yourself, how do you make a 103-win team better? You go out and you get an ace pitcher, and there is no doubt that this Yankees team is exponential better with him in that rotation. Yeah, I think we've talked about the Yankee organization the last couple of years and how disciplined they are in making decisions. This one felt a lot different, right? This one was let's go get this guy, whatever it's going to take. And from a player's standpoint, uh, the message is clear now. You have a number one guy in your rotation. Meredith brings up a great point. All of a sudden, Severino, Tanaka, and Paxton look a whole lot better in the middle of your rotation instead of the top of it. You have the best bullpen in baseball, probably the best rotation in baseball, and a lineup that can hit a lot of home runs. There now is no excuses. You have to go find a way to win a World Series. Yeah, and a lot of people would say, well, the expectations you talked about and pressure, it's what the Yankees are built for. I mean, that's what they yeah. preach throughout the minor leagues. He struck out 40% of the batters he faced. I mean, think about that. Balls aren't put in play. He's got those two nasty breaking pitches, the curve and the slider, and you see right there, almost 14 strikeouts per nine innings. And it just takes so much pressure off of your bullpen. Even though it is a very good bullpen, he's a guy that can go out there and can eat up innings. And as somebody that's in that clubhouse every day, I can tell you this Yankees team has been hungry. They have the desire. They want to win a World Series. And this is only going to add to it. And we've seen some of the things on social media from players coming out about how excited they are to get this type of addition in December. You know, you can look at all the numbers and the statistics and the strikeouts per nine for Garrett Cole and they're all impressive but I think back to the postseason last year especially what he did against the Yankees I didn't think he had great stuff we were watching his at bats and thinking there are a couple of mistakes in there and when I watched Garrett Cole and his body language he was recognizing that he said I don't have my ace stuff today and he still found a way to shut down a powerful Yankee lineup that's the difference between a guy when he has his ace stuff he's going to dominate when he doesn't he's a competitor that will Will find a way to beat you anyway that's why he got paid nine years that's why he got paid 324 million dollars because when he doesn't have the a stuff he still finds a way to win games